Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are playing Kadalka. Um, well, we would be playing Kadalka if I could remember how to get out of this room. I sort of know where I've got to go now. I was speaking to somebody who pointed out something I have missed. Anyway, let's put it that way. Um, so, yeah. We shall try not to get everybody killed. Uh, I think I can cut through this way, actually. So, yeah. Um, first of all, we're going to go back to the graveyard. And uh, we're going to see if something is there. Apparently it might not be there, but it might be there. Um, which means we've just got to go back to that, to uh, Daniel's grave. Um, obviously that was the grave that was overlooking the cliff. And, uh, But I figured we were that close to it, it was So Also, you know, Standard Final Fantasy affair, anyway. Oh, wow, I got some rifle rounds. I do. Oh, 
quite useful. No sense. I mean, maybe it's just me being picky, but I mean. Huh? Yes, yeah, so that's. up a level are we? Oh we haven't set a timer. Yeah, apparently I missed this. Now, I'm not sure how I missed this. Considering we've had to do this before. And we had to do this to get into the secret thing. But yeah, I missed this. I bought the box. I didn't want to go through it. Roger, I like Smear Roger. He's my favourite character in all the video game history. I keep telling you that. I don't think anybody's around you. here somewhere. Well, what took you so long? Roger, I have a coffin. 
Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy. My name is Roger Bacon, and I'm just like any normal old man. Hey, I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I see. Well, I've been around for 600 years, and I've seen plenty of abnormal people just like myself. My dear old man, might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Hmm. I am that warlock, Roger Bacon, you speak of. You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to be precise, I was born in 1214. Kudelka, what type of a joke is this? That's my question. Well, this is no joke! I am the reputable Roger Bacon! Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although a good professor, I would not consider him to be a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Myers, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer? Hmm. I must say that my work has influenced generations of work that followed. Things, but, but alas, I like Roger. in hindsight, so, that work pales yeah. in comparison to the work I did, copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents. I figured you would know about that book. Of course. The only it took me five years to copy like the book in its entirety. Roger, yeah. I know everything there is to know about the book. What is it about? Oh, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. When the Druids took over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the great library. Resurrecting the dead. Oh, it is true. The document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But apparently, the book was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently, I was supposed to be killed. <laughs> But I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I secretly escaped, and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. <laughs> and the secret rituals? Uh, don't tell me. You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Although I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death. But I have not been able to escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can see by my hideous appearance. Hmm. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. I've seen all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, I returned here for some rest. <laughs> well, um, enough of this gossip. I've got some research to do. <laughs> May I ask to be left alone? Checking to see if there's anything here. There isn't. So there we go. 
go. I know now how. Ooh, it's you, old red eye. Right then. So yes, we are now back on track. We are actually making some Literally in the final stretches of the game, uh, I believe we entered one thing, which is uh, obviously the the nitroglycerin. Um, there it is. So that's the end of this episode. I hope you'll join me in the next episode where we'll be moving on even further. So, tatty bites.